It was about a little over two years ago, we began digging for this base medrash, which is a complex of three bote medroshim, some shear rooms, etc. Reb Mendel Zatzal, as we were living through the Osameach saga, we always referred back to the reality that we were experiencing, the phenomenon of the series of miracles, that everything is grist for the mill. And so it wasn't, for me, accidental. There was a built-in analogy, a metaphor, why this base medrash had to be begun, dug, come about in the manner in which it did. We dug down eight and a half meters to get to where we are now. Fair amount of dust and a noise along the way. There were some discoveries that were made. There were pipes that were too close to the existing building for the foundations, and it needed reinforcement, reorganization. And that was the working analogy that to me was the message. A Talmud comes in, a student comes into Osameach. Do you tell him, erase everything and begin as if you were just born now? Or do you relate to an existing reality, a structure of personality? For example, there's a very, very intriguing machlekes by the Anche Ninva when they did tshuva. One man, the Alma says, only be, what was bekape yadehem, what was in their hands, evident, golu, which was easily identifiable as stolen. Another man, the Alma says, even if there was a beam built in to some kind of a shelter that they had constructed, they tore down the entire shelter to get to that beam to return it. So it seems to be mikseyak say from one extreme to the other, such a tshuva or no tshuva at all, bluff. There's another chazal that says that the tshuva of the Anche Ninva did not hold, didn't keep. They were chazal asurim, they went back to Times Square, Dizengoff, as if nothing had happened. Libi Emily, I feel, I sense, both would agree that the tshuva didn't hold. Why? Because Chazal teach us that there is such a gzeira, takona, an edict, takonas hashovim, that we tell a ganav, Chazal, the Talmud teaches, don't tear down the beam, give the monetary value, leave the beam in leave the shelter in place. Don't tear down the shelter to access that beam. Give its value, be paid it, redeem it. Why? Because it's too much to ask. It's takanat hashavim to facilitate the return. But we can read it in a larger way, in a global way. It's not just to return a stolen item, it's to facilitate tshuva, takonis hashova. Do you tell somebody when he comes in, tear down the structure of your personality and begin from scratch? Or do we say, no, be paid it, redeem it. Capture those talents, those energies, those predispositions, and now redirect them. The Osamer digging had to be in relation to an existing building because that symbolizes thematically who and what our mission statement has been. The artists, the musicians, the writers, the, the mathematicians, you name it, that have come into Osamech have found a way 
to be paid to redeem with the help and direction of Rebbeim, who they themselves can empathize, sympathize, identify, direct, guide, mentor such Talmudim. Shem Yitain, that this should be the beginning of another new phase and another new stage of Kvod Shemayim that should come from the awesome air story.